Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, where I show and sell lots of beautiful vintage in to modern costumes, sterling, sometimes gold, lots of stones. Anyways, this is my haul slash preview video. I typically do a haul video on Fridays, but I did not this week because my daughter was um, induced, uh, her baby they started the, to induce the baby on Thursday, and we I was at the hospital nonstop Thursday and Friday, so I didn't have the chance to do my haul video. But here I am doing it now along with the preview. This is a majority of what you will see tomorrow evening at my sale. There will be a couple of key pieces from last week that are pretty beautiful that I may lower the price a little bit on at starting bid. And I'm going to go out tomorrow morning and get more um, after I take my Eva. She comes back home today. Uh, to school in the morning, I will go to the two local thrifts and look for some designer and sterling, see if I can't find some um, to offer to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen as well. But um, I think I, if I didn't mention, I, I won't pre-sell. I'm going to be going back to the hospital with Maury um, to see her and the baby and spend some time with her. So let me start showing what I found. I'm pretty excited about it. I went out to the estate guy on Wednesday and picked up two fabulous boxes from the state that he bought out and offered to me at a price I couldn't refuse. This is a beautiful carry-all. Thanks, Kim. Um, she'll know who she is. Look at me. Anna hasn't fixed her face. I got to clean it up a little bit. There was a sticker on there. I'm um, probably, or it might be damaged. I don't know. I'll clean it though. Um, I'll, it's cute. It's a place for the compact you know, lipstick, and I guess cigarettes maybe under her or something, whatever you wanted to carry in it. But this is mid-century. Um, I have to check the dating on exactly. I believe it's like 1950s um, on it. Like, and you put the lipstick in there. And that just is fine. It just plopped over here. You just slide it back down. I was trying to put it in wrong. Okay, cute little carry-all. Um, that was in the bulk. I'll just show the couple of compacts. That one's older. I've had that. This is um. This is a fan. I need to clean it up. Um, I did take the powder out of it because it was loose and, and all over the place, but I'm going to wash it. And I'm not sure the dating on this uh, mid-century to 1970s or something. I will figure that out if anybody knows what it is. I mean, I, I can find this online, I'm sure, somewhere. But I think it's nice. It's a compact. It has a nice-sized mirror. I like the shape. And there's me again. I am just up here. Um, this is mink. This is vintage. And so it's made on the USA right there. And this one is unused as far as I can see. Even the little puff looks real clean. So, and that is rhinestones that are, and this is fur. I believe that's mink. So I have those three comics. I have this one I've had for a while. I'll, I'll offer that as well and see if anybody wants it. Um, it needs cleaned up. Um, it, I think it's gilt with gold. I'm afraid to use semi-chrome on it. Elgin American um, compact. Like you would open it up right there. And it definitely needs cleaned out. This is laying on my stand. But I'm not sure the dating on it. It, it looks brass. Possibly gilt with gold. Um, I'll figure out how to clean it and probably offer that as well. So those are the compacts I, f I had in the package. Let me um, start with the brooches over here. A beautiful necklace it's art deco amber glass i'll show that in a minute I have a, I have a lot of jewelry okay so this these ones i'll show the ones that have little earring sets with them let me get i thought this was just adorable these are sequins this is a flower power pin metal with an uh, enamel and a beautiful like little rose bud and it has a pair of earrings that go with it this one look. so little sequin earrings um they're about an inch, actually. Look domed a little bit. Little vintage flower brooch. I'm going to be moving fast. There's a lot. You know, I'll show them better when I sell them. I This is Francois. F-R-A-N-C-I-O-U-S, I believe. F-R-A-N-C-I-O-S. C-O-I-S. Does not have an O on it. It's a really beautiful brooch. I like this one. I have a pair of earrings to go with it. This is ultra long. Beautifulness. Look at that. Beautiful flower power, we can call it, I guess. Um, here's the earrings over here. These are matching. They are signed as well. It's a beautiful set. 
looks like a carnation, right? With the tips and then matching earrings to go with it. That's just like a French brooch. French roi. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, excuse me for that. Um, this I thought, this is very nice. This is just signed Coventry. This is a vintage Sarah Coventry. I think it's really nice. I like it. I love the colors. Looks very Eastery like. Um, and it is just signed Coventry right back here. This is an older one. They may make Sarah, not Coventry. I'm sorry. There's a copyright on it. So it's, I don't know, 50s or 60s. But it's nice. Has a little pleating on the back. And we have, I have a pair of earrings that match that that are clips. Okay. I have uh, air climbers, two pairs. Have not seen them anywhere. It just happened that my man had them. My man. <laughs> Listen to me. <clears throat> He's not my man, but you know. All right. Um. I have two pairs. I'll show them in a minute. This is Coro. This is very pretty, actually. And there's a pair of earrings that um, were in the box. Sign Coro as well. Texture's a little different, but I think they go together. Um, the fully pronged beads in the middle with the rhinestones. There's two of these, of course, as well. So I have a lovely little metal enamel Coro set. Um, probably 60s on that. And then I have this. I think this one's beautiful. i got to wipe it up a little bit. It's um, japanned in the back. And um, it's really pretty. These are fully pronged black rhinestones and beautifulness, I think. I'm going to wipe it up a little bit for toothbrush. I'm going to take some jewelry with me when I'm visiting my daughter that I need to clean. And I can just sit there when a baby, when I'm not holding a baby. I'm telling you what, the baby's fantastic. Just so adorable. I'll be sharing pictures soon. Um, my daughter's being greedy. No, I'm joking. There's a reason for it. Okay. Um, <laughs> but she's she's fine. She's healthy and she's beautiful and just really adorable. Anyways, these are very nice. These are Japan's in the back. And um, beautiful. Differing shapes of black rhinestones are lovely. Um, I think it's a really nice set. Um, that's it for the sets on those. I think there might be more. Just let me show these on here. This is... Well, let me take them off. This is... um. Bone China, and it's in Cape Coat, I think is what it is. Cape, oh my God, Coalport China, made in England, okay. So the findings are probably uh, China, and this was made in England. It's pretty though. I think it's nice. Uh, little pin, little pleat, and that was just in there. This looks like a Florence, so I'm not gonna take it off because I have it pinned on there, okay. It looks like the Arthur Pepper ring, actually. Maury pointed that out to me. It's my, you know, my daughter. Um, it does. It, or Florenza. I don't see a marking on it. I will look. That is glass or faux pearls. And beautiful green stones down here that I didn't check for uranium. It doesn't matter either way. It's, I think it's a beautiful pin. And it has the tassel. And it's unsigned. But I'll look it into it and try to figure that out before I offer it. This is a huge, beautiful like wash of uh, pearls there. I think that's very nice. I like it. This one. It's no marking on it. I'd seen, I have to look closer. I'd seen one that looked just like it that was uh, Kramer. I, I will make sure it doesn't have a name on it. It's been crazy for me. Stick pin that I bought individually because I thought it was lovely. Faux, mauve set style pearl, you know. And really nice stick pin. Um, it's about three inches. Or I can get a uh, a bottom for it. I have a lot of them hanging around from jewelry bags and stuff. Okay, so that's that for that. There's more. There's a lot more. Let me move these into a box. Let me get these earrings out. Um, carefully, obviously. I'm, I'm careful of the jewelry. I try not to bulk it up and destroy it before it gets sold. All right, so that's beautiful stuff, I think. This is lovely. I was happy to find this. It was in a box of its own, and um, it's old. Okay, this is Art Deco, um, amber uh, check glass, amber glass, I'm going to call it because of the coloring. Beautiful. It's the beads on the bottom. And this is Art Deco. <clears throat> Let me tell you how long it is. It's a 36 inch. Okay, it's beautiful, actually, I think. I'm being very careful with it. The thread, it's older. It's not broken, but I am very gentle with it. 
So beautiful amber glass, check glass necklace. And I believe Art Deco. I hear my cat out there trying to get in. And I've barely been home. The lizard's been freaked out. I left his light on the one day on the one side. I came home at 5 a.m. the first day when I kept her up and she asked me to leave because I was keeping her up for my snoring. And um, <laughs> and the cat was, um, I mean, the lizard was wide awake. I was like, Rocky, you're supposed to be sleeping. He was uh, up underneath his light basking. Okay, so beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I was happy to find it. Um, I have a lot of stuff I think is beautiful here. Most of it. Okay, um, there's more, too, that I'm not even going to show that it's in a box. It'll probably be sold at some point. Okay, these are Japan, beautiful glass Japan pearls, double strands. Let me show this stuff quick, okay? Because I got a lot. Um, a lot of beautiful earrings, in particular. Um, this is all glass. I believe even these beads are, okay, that are usually plastic. This is beautiful. It has, like, a little... Kind of looks like a viola or a violin on the end. I don't know who the maker is. I can't find a maker mark on it. But I love the color of blue on these. And you have the caps. And you have the, I'm calling them sugar beads. These are glass, though, and they're not. All of it's glass. It's a beautiful necklace. Could be unassuming to a lot of people. <laughs> it's very beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's not Japan. Um, and this color is magnificent. Look at that color of blue on there. I think it's a beautiful necklace. And there's this little simple one. I, I don't know. It's hair. It was in the... Well, I liked it enough to pull it out. All this faceted black glass. Beautiful. All right. So there's those three. Like I said, I'm going to be moving kind of fast because there's a lot of jewelry. I, I've showed stones in a minute. Let me show some of these earrings. Um, I have a big Raza elephant, too. He's pretty cool. This beautiful Koro. Again, the color, actually the color, kind. It's silver tone and gold tone, though, but it matches that rather well. Don't you agree? But they, this is silver tone, signed Coro on the back, and these have no signature in our gold tone, all metal and glass, no plastic on this one. They usually see of Japan. I don't know where it was made. It's a beautiful one, though. But these are Coro, silver tone clips. The clips are good, and you have these beautiful... A, B class dangles on here. And they're all there. I checked it out. They look intact. This one needs bent. Like, shook down. But beautiful. Beautiful Coro gla um, glasses. Yeah. Um, earrings. I have these. I think these are very beautiful. Um, these ones I are very old. I'm not sure exactly how old. But look how lovely they are. These ones, they're Japanine. Like, they're blackened metal dangles. Um, and I think these are lovely, too. Look at them screw backs and these ones are clips these are fully pronged i like the color of the blue the crystal and the very beautiful pronged pieces i think they're both beautiful earrings um i have a lot of them these ones as well i have a designer pair as well one designer pair happened in the pal um these are very nice they're my miyani I think they're beautiful. These are clips. They are unsigned. These are Florenza faux pearls. And a lovely matte finish. Color of gold on that. Um, I really like these ones. Okay. So there's those. These ones are up a little bit higher. They are the same length on those. Um, these beautiful cut glass ones. Um, these are the designer... F Mancini, I think it's pronounced. F M A N C I N I. Let me show you my pronunciations. <clears throat> Aren't the best of all time, and I've never seen this before, but I did look them up. And there we go. Mancini. That's what it looks like, right? These are designer earrings. Um 1980 matte finish. Um, like Kotor type of earrings. They're long. These are like a these are clips. Uh the clips are good as you can see, they're not going anywhere on here. Uh, these are really long. They're four and a half inches. Very long earrings. Have a little bit of weight on them, but they look good. They look good. I looked them up, his jewelry or the company. I don't even know if it's a man. Um, they, they're caught. They could go up in price. I will offer it much lower than what it's seen as. All right. And these are beautiful, um, AB glass, fully pronged, very beautiful. Cha -cha. These say patent. These say nothing. Some say patent pending. Let me show you the back. Obviously, when I show them, I'll show more detail. Like these are cool. They're well made. Um, vintage. 
earrings. And there you go. I like them. These are move, these move as you can see, and very beautiful. There's those. Like I said, I am moving quick because I have a decent amount and I need to <clears throat> get rolling myself back to the hospital. I have a three-piece crystal set. No name on it that I could see. I have a beautiful bracelet. These are clear crystal. A bracelet. This is deliberate open links in between. And you have these uh, ones that are like, I guess you might call that channel set. There's no prongy on it. Beautiful clear crystal ne bracelet. Necklace. And um, I have a bust right here. I can put this on. I have it doubled up. But it's at least, it has it has a, um, a lobster claw. I don't see a name on it. It's at least like a 20-inch tw necklace, I think. That's what it looks like. It's a 25-inch necklace, un 24 unopened and a half, so like a 25. And I have a pair of earrings that are clips. Now, I didn't see a marking on them, in them at all. I will look again because I've been rushed. The last, I've barely been home. I'm home to sleep and feed my animals. Okay, so uh, crystal lot nice long earrings bracelet don't think it's Swarovski but these are crystals and beautiful gold tone gold plating and nice pair of earrings necklace and bracelet that'll be offered as a set and I'll start them at a really good price because we're not um I showed those pearls I I think this is not think this is Renoir R-E-N-O-I-R -E this is a copper bracelet this is a nice one see it's signed in there I like it. I think it's nice. I find this is in their tone. I, I'm not weird. I like it. I actually think it's cool. It's wooden pearls. But it's a nice bracelet. It's copper. Signed in here. With the signature R-E-N-O-I-R. -E if I'm pronouncing that right after I'm doing it like that. Alright. I think it's nice. Um, there's that. Um... I have, this is signed, this is the thing I was talking about, Coventry, this is a nice, this is, I'm not sure how old this is, I will look, it's signed Coventry for copyright, so I know it's after 50, she's been making jewelry since the 50s, like 49 I believe is in my head, um, but I think it's, I'm thinking like the 70s, it's a nice buckle bracelet, Let's see if that comes off, let's get a little more, I'll clean it. I didn't clean anything yet. I will be doing some wiping down. I'm going to have to come home a little early so I can work. Okay, so Coventry buckle bracelet. I think it's pretty nice. I'm thinking like 60s or 70s, something like that with the signature. Could be more modern, who knows. But it opens and goes on. It's pretty nice textured um, buckle bracelet. Humongous. Let me get moving. My daughter is just calling me. Uh, humongous uh, flower pin. I like it. It is a plastic that is not like a, a flower power but has the markings the same type of thing in the back but it's big large in a charge it's at least three inches maybe bigger this is really nice this is a hair clip this is Kirk's Folly hairpin like when you pull your hair up um, you put this in your hair and it has rhinestones set and you can either end you know when it's shown on either end it's okay Kirk's Folly Kirk's Folly and it's pretty. The back is kind of decorated. Caged. I think this is gold felt. It's definitely not gold um, or gold tone. These are caged amethyst. Very beautiful. Nice necklace. Doesn't have a clasp on it, but it's pretty. That was in with the stone. I will show the stone in a minute. Um, this was as well. This is um, sign 925. Um, and it's beautiful. Um, like a that's glass. Okay. These are Heshi or Keshi. They're pearls. Look like cornflakes. I think it's Keshi. Excuse me if I'm saying the wrong thing. It's Keshi. Okay. Not Heshi. All right. And you have these Baroque pearls, not round. You know, beautiful, beautiful. I think these blue ones are dyed. It's a beautiful necklace. Um, sterling, nice clasp that can go on the side um, or wherever you want in the front, and it has a marking in here too, and I have to look over that, but it has an M, I believe. Not an M, it's, these are not Mickey Moto or anything. I don't know, I'll research them. I don't know who they are. They're beautiful though, I think. I like the pearls, I think they're very nice. I put some stones together with brooches, twisted them. I'll show those, but look. Um, 
they're beautiful. I think it's a nice necklace. I like it. I love the, look at the, the luster on those are amazing. They're a nice, uh, I'm guessing first water culture, that's my guess, but very beautiful in themselves. Um, here's the elephant I was talking about. I think he's super cool. I have two elephant necklaces. This is a big Raza, and you can see the signature in here. It's hard to see. I just sold a Raza chick. I, he's amazing, right? Trunk up. That's the findings. Um, and I, it does say it in here. I looked online, too, and I'd seen them, and it's what it was listed at. And I did notice its signature. It's kind of drowned it out in there. But a nice, big, fantastic elephant necklace made out of some kind of plastic. Made to look like bone. I do have a bone one here with trunk up. Pretty adorable. This is nice, though. That's a big piece on there, a big centerpiece. And I think it's, I like it. Um, it's five inches. These are metal. Metal eyes. Um, needs wiped up a little bit. I can wipe them up gently. I don't want to, like, ruin the metal, so I will clean it gently. But pretty cool, I think. Nice chain on it with weighted. Pretty adorable. Um, <clears throat> I like elephants. But this as well. This one's bone. And it'll wrap. Look how cute it is. It's long. You wrap it around, and the trunk is... Like that, like it, it rings up. So cute little trunk up elephant looking happy and adorable. Look at that. I mean, large one. It's cute. As a ring, I think it's pretty adorable. He's going to be that. If anybody likes them. Um, this is beautiful. I'm going to get one. I want to keep this one. Um, I don't keep much, but this is something I want to keep for my jacket. It brings me Black Dahlia. Oh, it's beautiful. Black rose and metal enamel. I think it's the only thing I kept besides an agate, a little agate necklace I gave to Maury. Nothing substantial. I do have people that like the agate, so I try to hold on to it. But she really liked the one, and she was getting ready to, you know, on her way to the hospital soon. And uh, I wanted to give her something. So I let her have it. But this is pretty. I think I'll keep this one. I like it. It's big, and it'll look great on my coat, I think. I've really been wearing my brooches um, daily. Changing them on. I have shoe clips. These are Musi, Fleur de Lis, Silver Tone, and Black Rhinestones. Pretty cool, aren't they? They are signed Musi in the back right there. M-U-S-I. They are big in making shoe clips. Um, amazing, I think. I have another pair, too. I, these ones are in great condition. Vintage Musi, uh, Fleur de Lis shoe clips I have. And they go, like, over your pretty heels, like, you know. They they clip down and then you wear them or up. I mean, I don't wear shoe clips. I like them. I sold my most fabulous pair that I really love. They they went to a, a fabulous person. But anyways, I have these um as well. And there is a little bit of these. No missing stones. Some of them are a little darker. These are musy as well, and you will clip down and on your your heels. They still look fabulous. They are uh, vintage musy signed m-u-s-i up there see how they hook down so two pairs of shoe clips <laughs> um i have these are the first pair of earrings that are climbers um i consider them to be climbers because they're long and the way they're shaped i have another pair as well that's even bigger these these are cool okay you have a left and a right of course um and these will climb up your ear pretty cool these are vintage um you have these uh the ch -ch -ch baguette, yeah, and then these ones are a little round, and then you have these ones here. They're not baguettes. What do they call these? It doesn't matter. These ones are rectangle, okay? These ones are a nevette. So Anna's getting tired. I, I'm i sorry. You didn't get the idea. These ones are plated in the back. These are mid-century, and I do believe they're ear climbers. The way they're shaped, they will climb up your ear. And they are measuring, like, the well, the full length is about two inches. I have a bigger pair um, that are multicolored. I thought these were lovely, though. Clips. The clips are good. We have a nice clip on each one. There's those. Um, there was just a little bit of sterling in there. Let me show you the necklaces I kind of put together. I'm not a fashionista or a designer. But I had long strands. And these are measuring out. Let me make this smaller. Oh, uh. I'll twist it up. You can wear these or two. I have a 
um, a garnet and a rose quartz. And you could put something. This isn't probably the best choice on that. But I put an enhancer on them. I twisted them. I like my, like, something like this twisted, like I said, and it probably could use a retwist. But 16 inches twisted. Okay, so this is a decent length for somebody. Um, and then you can hang, you know, you hang your brooch on or whatever you want, your cameo, whatever, if this one's purple. This is a beautiful little brooch. I think this is a Sarah Coventry. But anyways, um, these can be sold separate, too. They're long. Uh, garnet. And rose quartz and I stuck one on her I have the enhancers um, if anybody's I will offer them together if that doesn't happen then I will offer them separate at some point but with just the enhancers you get the idea of the brooch you can add anything you want on there and over here this is a Brooks brooch it was actually in with this set of vintage Brooks and this is garnet and rose quartz and I think that clear quartz not rose I think it, this is a very nice contrast of coloring look how beautiful um, could use a different brooch, but I was running out of time digging, so I pulled what I could find. Beautiful long garnet strand, and I could, they're, they're, these are like without, twisted up at 16 inches, separate, they're like a 32 inch strand with no, um, with no clasp. Okay, but I think that looks very nice together. So, they're just twisted and having a little enhancer on it, and you don't even need to brooch on it, but, you know, and I think you find one that you like that matches it. I think that looks really nice. It's an, You know, if two simple strands turn into a beautiful necklace, um, so I'll offer them like that, those ones. I'll try to find better brooches, or I'll just sell them with the enhancer on them if I can't find it, um, or we'll just show them like that. It's an imperfect world, right? Um, anyways, I think the cameo might look better on them. I have my beautiful, um, I put her on a little sash back there. That is just a, a gold filled cameo back there. Looks pretty, I think. All right, this is a vintage barrel class brass and garnet, beautiful garnet shapes, different shapes, um, little strand. I thought that was pretty. And it's probably about 20 inches at least on this. It is 20... 23 inches part 24 if it was open okay there's that let's see what else i have i have a bunch of earrings i have the other ear climbers i'm just going to show everything i pulled in oh my not these are beautiful these made me i they're very nice there is a these are true ear climbers there is a little variation in color on some of these stones they lifted or got wet i, I don't know but still quite beautiful and a very nice earring look vintage there's the back gold tone nice clips no markings i don't know who they are but you have they look like a splash of beautifulness right you have a couple like that mainly you see the variation of color on the stones this one is definitely darker um it yeah but these are ear climbers there would be a left and a right and these ones are about three inches they would definitely be climbing up the length of your ear Eh, about three inches there, or two and a half, like down to here, like two and a half, two and three quarters. So I think they're pretty. They are a beautiful lilac color of rhinestones. And you do have one dark, as you can see, there's a little bit of color variation. I feel like my lighting's off. It's probably not. It's probably just me. Again, don't mind the background. Shipping table over to the right in the back is overflow of jewelry. Some of it. That's where I try to keep it organized. Um, on trays. But anyways, I thought they were beautiful. I was super excited. I have a lot of cha-cha, as I call them cha-cha. Look, I'll hold these in my hand, okay? I'm going to go through these quick. Very beautiful. A purple AB, unsigned beautifulness, wired on to the back. Cha-cha earrings. About an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Very beautiful, right? Those are purple. These are really nice. I really like these ones. Um, these are pearls. Beautiful um, champagne cream colored pearls. Um, they're nice. I'm just, I'm showing them quick. I'm sorry about that. Okay, you can stop the video, slow it down. These are unmarked and linked on their little links and rivets and very beautiful little cha-cha earrings as i call them again um these are really lovely chinese export don't know the dating very beautiful colors on this look gold plating um and very beautiful look how i think they're really lovely they're paris omega backs um or safety hey, that's an omega we can call it that but there's the backing 
and the front and i thought they were really beautiful these are you can wear them without that as well if you just wanted to wear that piece if you want a small earring or you put these beautiful pieces on my guess if these are uh if they would be 70s they're lovely they're just pretty okay um i have i'm gonna show a majority one i have just because I have this beautiful, I thought this, oh, I have bracelets. Um, I have a, he have, there's a sage in there, a sage. And look at that amethyst on that. Um, I didn't test, I have my thing tested. Let me see if this is topaz or aqua. I do have a stretchy aqua bracelet, but it's stretchy. Hey, this is topaz and amethyst. I was hoping it was aqua. Okay. It's going up there. Look at the beautiful, beautiful amethyst speed though. Okay. It's nice, faceted, big, large. It is signed Sajin on the, has the Sajin hang tag. He had a lot of Sajin jewelry in his counter. He, this one remained. Um, He has a, a lot of this style. I, I'd seen somebody on YouTube sell a lot of this style. Um, 925 and Sajin on the other side. S-A-J-E-N. Beautiful bracelet. Not a bad find in the stone bag. Um, Twist it like I like it. I do think it looks, stones look beautiful when they are braided. And big amethyst, sterling silver finding, sage and bracelet. I thought that's pretty amazing find. I had the stone bag with separate. This is sterling and really, really, look at those amethyst pieces. Let's, let's tap them. Yeah, they're definitely amethyst. Okay. And pearls. Freshwater culture and sterling. Looks like a ladder. And ladders. I ordered Rocky two ladders to put together and put up on the window so he could climb up and look out. We got to get it together. He's been eating and cleaned up, but besides that, I I haven't been home. <sighs> Beautiful, right? It's a lovely agate ring. Okay. Um, that's I've had that. Okay, I thought that was nice. Is that it for the bracelets? Yeah. Well, I was gonna. This is I don't know what to find these. I don't. It's just pearls and it's it was in there. This is what I wanted to show. This is nice. I don't know who the maker is. Um, but it's nice gold tone. And it's not faded. That's my lighting. This looks great. And it has a pair of beautiful earrings. So you got yourself an instant set um of earrings. And these are clips earrings and a bracelet that go together. They're good, too. Um, no fading, no loss of the coating, the plating that's on them. But that was in there. There's a bunch of earrings in here. I show, look, I thought these were really cool. I have a pair of crystal ones. I don't see a marking on Look at these. I like that. These are metal enamel clips unsigned as far as I could see, but I thought they were cool. Those boxes. And these ones are lovely. I have two pairs of really cute Hong Kong sequin, too. And these move like this, interestingly, has movement, so it moves around. It's a one way earring, okay? Um, I like the color. Dangles, uh, beautiful. Look like daisies, right? Vintage. These are vintage. They're all vintage. Um, these are Hong Kong. I have two pairs, and I think they're really, really beautiful. They are signed Hong Kong. And there's a pink pair and a yellow pair. How cute. With, like little chandelier is beautiful little. Lots of movements on there. Sequin Hong Kong earrings. Beautiful. These ones as well. I have the yellow. They came. All this was in two boxes. Oh, from in the state. He pulled it out. He's been, I guess he's been looking. And putting stuff together. Okay, so I like these as well. I like them all. This, and I have a lot more I didn't pick out. And I will offer at some point. These are crystals. I don't know who the maker is. Um, I don't see a marking on them, but beautiful uh, blue. I like that color of blue. Okay, doesn't that? And green, blue, green, and purple, like crystal clips. Earrings, what else? Uh, a little knife. I'm keeping this too. I collect them. I think it says AU on it. I got to test it for gold. Okay. <laughs> I collect them. Um, so that's mine. Not that I. I just think it's really cute, so I showed it. Okay, I'm, I'm getting there to the end. All right, I have these. These are just, we're in there a uh, little. I'm just showing everything. This is a haul as well, okay? And I show everything when I, for the most part that I think is cute. Um, and I like these. These have a sugar. These ones are plastic. Um, look how those are pronged. These ones are pronged. I mean, that prong there. Okay, those are a pair of earrings, and there's these cha-cha-like things. 
that are metal with no markings. I don't know who they are. I don't even know the One minute, child. <sighs> okay. Oh, I gotta work. I gotta work a little bit. I gotta make money to pay my rent. <laughs> so here I am. I, I go in bath, though. Uh, this is nice. This is gold filled 14, 20% of 14K. I don't know what the stone is. I think it's some kind of agate and pearls. So gold felt findings going down to hair. And we have these, uh, I think these are agate. I, I don't really know. I will figure it out. But pearls and this is some kind of stone too. I think the black, it's clear, like you can semi-translucent. I kind of see through the black. So stones, I believe they're agates and just or agates and pearls and gold filled findings. I found that in the box. Um, and then there's a lot of strands here, just simple strands of beautiful amethyst, actually. Really nice sized chunks. Beautiful mother of pearl with looks like sterling findings. I don't know. I like mother of pearl, though. I think it's pretty fabulous. It was in the stone bag. There was a lot in there. The pet Heshi, Heshi pearls were in there and sage. And this is a really nice quality mother of pearl that's in there. Then I have this uh, quartz. And uh, this is stone as well. And yeah, definitely I... Obsidian possibly... Okay, um, it's it's sterling. I believe the findings are sterling on it. It's a long necklace. And um, there it is. It's quartz. And this one's twisted. <laughs> quartz twisted with black. I think it's probably some onyx or something. It's not glass. They have it twisted. It doesn't have a strand. I think it's pretty. That's it. And I have goldstone. Okay, right there. Two goldstone strands. Um... And a really cute little, looks 1970s to me. Um, well, it's signed best, I think, B-E-S-T. I don't know how old it is. I, no, Bell. Bell Jewelry. I, I don't know who that is or whatever. I'll look it up. But the dating's a guess, okay? There's that. I have some fused glass earrings. And I'm done. I'm going to I'm gonna be done here. These are cute. Vintage. Um, fused glass. So that's it for now. A couple more bracelets. And uh, I will be going out to the thrift store and looking for more. I think I showed a majority of what I have. No, two more vintage bracelets. Um, this one is um, glass. I'm going to call that glass. But it has a, a safety chain on it. And I think it's gold filled. I'm not real sure. I'll figure that out. Faux pearls. Fold over clasp. Don't know who the maker is because I don't see it. This looks like a kind of like a watch chain. Oh, it's meshy. That's all for now. Um, I will be on tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I will go out shopping tomorrow to look for more jewelry. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I don't know what time it's coming up. Figure that out. I'm gonna start uploading it. All right, thank you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a lovely blessed day.